pretty. This is Diego. Little designs here. Another repair. It's a Hisense. Um, 50H 5G. Smart LED TV. Um, um, basically, when you plug in the power button, uh, you get the little red light on the bottom that blinks red. Um, well, it doesn't blink red until you push the power. It blinks red. Then after it blinks, it stops blinking, and there's no backlight. There's nothing, no sound, or anything like that. Um, usually in these cases, I go straight to the the back. Um, not not the whole LEDs yet, but to the back of the LEDs or the back of the panel. Um, this plug right here. What I would do, this is where the LEDs come out from. So what I would do is I would test them with my LED tester. Yeah, so I tested it with my LED tester. Um, and the funny thing is that when I put it on, there's no resistance change. Or I'm sorry, not resistance, but voltage change. Right now this is 315. Um, this voltage will change when it meets the resistance. So like I'm touching it right now. Ow, that shocked me. So you saw the, the change there. Um, because it, it, uh, it detects the resistance on there. So the thing with this LED is it didn't it didn't detect resistance. Um, which is kind of uh, awkward because it doesn't light anything up. So once we got it, all the panel taken off, everything, all the plastics and all that stuff, um, which is the fun part, not really. Uh, we'll be testing each section. And notice these LEDs are in section. They're in series, not parallel. Well, it's a series. The LED strips are in series, but the strips themselves are considered parallel. Series parallel. Anyways, if one of them, one of these strips fail, basically the whole thing fails. But we're gonna test out to see where our, our weak point is at. So, uh, see if I can do it without shaking y'all too much. And I highly suggest to buy one of these testers. They're about forty dollars. If you're into repairing stuff, you know you want you kind of want to invest money on this. Man, this is hard. I guess I should invest. Bring my stand here. There it is. Oh man. There we go. Well, basically, I can't really do it too well. <laughs> um. But I did find out, you know, I'm going to get my stand. Hold on. All right, there we go. So, all right, I did find out that one of these one of these strips is bad, are bad. I believe it's this one right here. So that's good. That's good. We can even go to the very first one, test all of these, see that those are good. Um, we can go from this one, basically I'm going to the positive and negative side, so you can see that all that, the whole panel is there good. Um, it's this one that's the only thing that's bad, so I'm going to remove this sheet and we can actually pinpoint which exact LED went bad. I believe I have a, a repair already done for Hisense, so... It must be a common thing for Hisense. Um, the one thing that I can say is, as far as if you're owning, if you own this TV, um, make sure you don't run these LEDs that bright um, because it, you know obviously it does. Um, whenever they get bright, they kind of tend to give out quicker. And I think I have a replacement for this, but I'm not too sure. I'm trying to make uh, contact here by by scratching the surface. Sometimes uh, we can get a good uh, contact. It, it, it's kind of hard to see where this this PCB board goes. Um, 
I know one follows the other. I know one follows the other, but I'm not too sure which one goes where. So we'll see if we can pinpoint it. See, I see something lighting up on this one. Um, let's try it here and here. Cool, so we know those are good. We know that one's good. So if we know that's good, uh, normally this first one's gonna be bad. Now normally won't won't pop these off, but just because this is only one of them, I'm gonna go ahead and try to check it out here. And that definitely looks like it's burned out. Uh, let me see if I can give y'all a zoom. So, give me a second here. You'll see what I'm talking about. You can see the middle part. It's pretty bad. Um, it's like purplish or whatever, or not, part, not purple, but like burnt. Um, so I got two options here. Um, my easiest option is, let me zoom out here. Easiest option is to go ahead and just remove that LED, close the circuit. Um, and like on my other videos, what I've done is basically just break that LED off or whatever. Put a piece of uh, some copper that uh, joins those two together. That way we can close the circuit. And the thing is, we'll have a blank spot, a very very blank spot here. Um, if not, I'm gonna check right now if I have uh, extra LEDs where I can basically swap out for another one, um, and you know, not have to sacrifice one LED. Uh, the only bad thing about sacrificing LEDs is that, say, everything here. It's 300 volts and then let's just say you know each LED holds three volts then you basically took three volts and you have to spread them all out again so instead of running at three volts each LED now they're running at like 3.1 or 3.05 or whatever just a little bit warmer um, which is what I was talking about earlier is if you're gonna run LEDs run them a little bit shorter or run them a little bit less brighter than what you normally would have um, just to make them last a little bit longer um, but yeah I'm going to check my stock right now to see what I have. And if not, I'll be tearing out that LED out. Hold on one second. I just noticed on one of my other videos that I did actually um, repair a simple panel. Matter of fact, I think it was the same panel. It was just a different model TV. It was a non-smart version of this TV. Uh, the Hisense 50K something 23 or I don't, I don't remember. Well... Um, what I did on that TV is I actually replaced the LED with another strip that I had. Um, I don't remember what their, what their strip is from, but uh, they came in threes. So it was like a 32 or 42, uh, something like that. Um, I think it was a 32 inch, but the 32 inches was, was diagonal. I'm sorry, not diagonal. Uh, horizontal instead of this one, how it's uh, vertical LEDs. Um, so I did replace the LED with this strip. I have one more of these left, but I did replace it with this one. Um, and it does turn on. I can show you real quick. You know, once we power the whole circuit from one end positive to the other end negative, and it does come on. So that that's a good. Obviously, that's a good sign. We have all of our LEDs. We didn't sacrifice none. There's six LEDs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the pattern will be uh, slightly off, which uh, doesn't really matter too much as long as we got the six LEDs um, th this one will fill in for this one so we'll have a probably very very dim right here very very dim up there or something like that but it, it really doesn't matter once the sheet is on you're not going to see it. it's diffused now the one thing I didn't go into um, was the sheet itself um, so basically you know the sheet has the holes so of course I, I did rig it up 
so it can fit perfectly fine. I have all my six LEDs, well, somewhat. Let me tear this out real quick. I have all my six LEDs showing, and you know, now we're ready to rock and roll basically. Um, I'm pretty excited because this is a smart TV. Um, smart TVs tend to, you know, go for a little bit more in the market, uh, which means more money. Hopefully, uh, this helped y'all, and hopefully, y'all can fix your, you know, either your TV or a customer's TV or whatever. Um, this is a not not really simple fix. This is actually a pretty complex fix, but the the procedures are, are pretty simple. Um, getting getting an LED like this, um, it's kind of hard if you don't if you don't do this often. I, I usually save as much LEDs, as many LEDs as I, as I can. But uh, if that LED didn't work, uh, my my other option would be just to basically bridge out that LED, basically cancel it out, um, and not worry about it. Um, that's what I would have done, just to kind of um, save the whole TV. And you know, of course, like I told y'all about the running the the LEDs hotter, you want to run them a little bit. Uh, not not that not as hot. Yeah, this is weird. Um, but hopefully, y'all fixed your TV. Hopefully this helped y'all. I hope y'all subscribe. And you know if this if this helped you, go ahead and uh, give me a like. That way I know that I'm doing some, you know, doing a good job or whatever. Or I mean, whatever you want, I don't care. But if this is helping somebody else, go ahead and share it to them. Um, and that's it guys. Go ahead and uh, stand by for my next video. Alright, y'all take care.